the Joe Rogan experience. I know a dude who killed the guy with a choke. In the ring? No, killed him in a in a gym. He was banging this guy's wife. Oh, he really went for him. Yeah, it was crazy. He was banging the guy's wife, and he invited the guy to school, and then choked him to death and killed him, and then was driving the guy's car around town. <laughs> I think that's cold blood. And then they arrested him. Yeah, he was an interesting character. He was a fake Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. My friend Eddie Bravo called him out. Wait like, a minute. Fake? Yeah, yeah, he was fake. He was a fake black belt. He was okay. telling everybody he was a black belt. And Eddie rolled with him. And I remember him coming back to me, and he's like, that guy's not a black belt. And I go, what, you sure? And he goes, dude, he don't know anything. Like, it was too crazy. It was like, he barely, it was like a white belt. You can get killed doing he shit goes, like that. I thought maybe he was doing it because he was, maybe he was just being nice and wasn't going hard. And he goes, but then as time goes on, I was like, this guy doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. <laughs> and so then he calls him up and, I, and he was like, hey, are you a, are you a fucking black belt? Like, tell me your, the guy's like, well, you know, I'm a black belt in Japanese jujitsu. He goes, stop, 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 stop. Are you a fucking black belt? And there's like this big pause. He's like, bro, you're a fucking liar. You're a liar. So Eddie separated himself from the guy. And then years later, the dude wound up murdering somebody. Oh, sh yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. With jujitsu? Yeah, he murdered the guy with jujitsu. No, so he, he knew something. the guy. Well, you know, I could teach you how to put a choke in, in f five seconds. Yeah. It wouldn't take long at all. Yeah, I could teach you how to do it. You just wrap your forearm underneath someone's neck. Clamp your hand to your bicep, put this arm behind the head, squeeze. You could kill somebody. It's not a hard thing to learn, but to actually apply it to someone who knows what they're doing, mm -hmm. you'd have to get you have to be really good. Like you can't just no one's gonna let you choke them. But this guy didn't know anything. So I think he snuck up behind this guy who he killed and just choked him. <laughs> choked him to death. It sounds like the OJ murder. <laughs> I think he brought the guy to his school under false premises. He's in jail now. Oh shit. All right. Yeah. Shout out to that guy. Yeah. It was weird because I got uh I got semi-involved in it, in that the guy who wound up ratting him out to the cops was one of Eddie's students, and I was talking to the guy on the phone about it. I was like, what's going on with that guy? And then the cops called me afterwards and said, hey, we were tapping that guy's phone. We want to know what you know. And whoa. I was like, whoa. I'm on the fucking set of Fear Factor. I'm in my, my trailer. Jesus. Get, yeah. Getting, putting my microphone on. I'm like, huh? And you're in a murder case yeah. all of a sudden. I'm like, hey, listen, I don't know that guy. I go, this is what I know. He's a fake black belt. I told him the whole deal. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I had heard that he killed somebody. But I wasn't sure if it was true because the guy's so full of shit. Yeah. This is how full of shit this guy was. This guy had a friend drop him off in the woods because he said he was going to a kumite karate contest, like a big karate competition. But it was it was no rules and it was secretive. So he dropped him off in the woods. Where was this he, guy from? <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know. But he lived in California for a while. Okay. He dropped, he dropped him off in the woods with a duffel bag. Yeah. He gave him a duffel bag. Like he had a duffel bag with him, rather. <clears throat> and it's like a, a duffel bag that's just big enough to fit a trophy in it. Yeah. Right? Like about this big. So he, he leaves, goes out into the woods. The guy comes back the next day. He's got a trophy. No duffel bag. So he, he brought a fucking trophy with him. And then, he, and then he came out of the woods like, yeah, I won. I fucked everybody up. And like, so this guy would, he thought this guy would tell everybody yeah. that he be, beat everybody in this karate tournament. This guy's a hell of an actor. He's really, I mean, he really commits. He was he, he was one of those guys that snuck through my crazy radar. Because like, he's a friend of a friend. So I, was, I assumed... You know, I was fucking 30 years old. I didn't know any better. I was dumb. And I was like, I assumed. 30? 30, yeah. Aren't you fully cooked by then? Nah, you think you are. You think you are. You haven't met enough murderers yet. Shit. You have to meet enough really legitimate crazy people to have them in the database where you're like, oh, yeah. you're a fucking, you're a sociopath. Oh. Well, what's worth it, worse, a psycho or a sociopath? Mm -hmm. a sociopath is someone who doesn't care about someone a psychopath i think is someone who violently attacks people but in many ways they're interchangeable like let's let's google that what is the difference between a sociopath and a psychopath because i think a sociopath can have no violent <coughs> tendencies but i think the idea is that they have no compassion for other people right like i have a friend and she thinks her sister's a sociopath everybody thinks that everybody's a fucking sociopath these days that's mm, like a hot right. that's that's the hot word these days it's like calling somebody a racist or right calling someone a nazi exactly yeah, yeah. Mm. the quick thing i pulled up <clears throat> well put it up so yeah you, ex well, you explain exactly <clears throat> what it said but there's just like a venn diagram that's, um, that's a better explanation 
By the way, every woman who's you know who's going to hear this is going to be like, he is a sociopath. Oh, so there's something in the middle. There's like, you could be both. So genetically predisposed. Why is it <clears throat> a psychopath? Genetically predisposed. So lacks my, my parents would have guilt. to be psychopaths. What is happening with the screen, everybody? Switch that. Uh, what? Did it on purpose? You should connect again. Maybe not. Maybe it's dead. There it goes. Oh, oh, even yes. better. <laughs> <laughs> okay, lacks empathy. A, psych a psychopath, genetically predisposed, lacks empathy and guilt, convincing behavior. Look how they spell behavior. That's oh, it's British. conniving, conniving, conniving. Yeah. But look how they spell behavior. Oh yeah, with the I O I O U R. Higher job success. What? Okay, antisocial personality <laughs> disorders can form social relationships and treatable. That's the one in the middle. And okay, then so they're both sociopath, treatable. Sociopath, environmentally influenced. Feel empathy and guilt, erratic behavior, struggles to find and keep jobs. Wait a minute. I thought sociopath didn't feel empathy and See? guilt. I, think this, I don't what, think this is right. I think this is some British definition. <laughs> that, like, the psychopath doesn't they care, it. but like, it's the same. Hmm. They, they what, know the what sociopath doing. does care? Sociopath would feel no guilt about hurting a stranger. So how is that? It's saying the same that, thing. But it's not saying the same thing. Right. It says it feel, they feel empathy. When you look at that chart... It says sociopaths feel empathy. <coughs> ah, whatever. It's close. We kind of get it. Yeah. Kill it. Sure. 